I really like, don't like Bang Bang Racing that much. Um, yes, the developers tried to do something new with top-down racing, but I found it, and it's good. They did a good job, but I the main problem I had with this game was the overall difficulty level. It felt a little bit too hard for me um, compared to most other racing games of its kind. If there are that many. Um, the two main issues I had with the game that made it difficult, uh, I think, was the camera was a little bit fidgety the way it rotated around your car when you turned which made it difficult to foresee bends that were coming up uh, but once you got the hang of the tracks you could easily get around the course so that, that just took a bit of time the other problem is the AI I found the AI to be very cheap and cheaty um, it's obviously hard to explain without actually playing it because it might not look like it on the videos but when you're playing you do notice that the AI do seem to be able to outperform you in every way um, on the straights you can get overtaken fairly easily on the bends you seem to be take overtaken very easily the boost doesn't seem to do much at all. If you push it, the engine makes a little noise and you barely look like you're moving. Whereas the AI will be boosting behind you and will suddenly shoot past you at a rate of knots. So it's like your boost is ineffective and the AI's is totally effective, giving your boost pointless. And it's the same when cornering. When you come up to a corner, you almost always have to break or at least decelerate to get around the corner. The AI, whether they do that or not, I don't know, but they always seem to corner incredibly flat around the corner. There's no, they don't skid, they barely break, they barely slow down, and they just seem to take it as if they're on a guide rail. You know, they just. And you're like around the corner. That's really annoying. And again with the straights, you're driving along. All of a sudden, you see someone behind you suddenly catch you up and overtake. How? Your car could be faster because each car does have its own unique skill, I guess you could say. Some have a better boost, some have a higher acceleration, some have a higher top speed, better cornering, that kind of thing. Even if your car is the fastest one, you will still get overtaken by pretty much every single opponent. And it's the same with your boost. You may have the car that has the best boost, you will still be outboosted. You'll be out cornered, you'll be out accelerated, you'll be outperformed in almost every way. It's not so apparent on the beginning courses, because you're pretty slow there, pretty slow. It's not hard to. which was easy to notice. But as the levels progress, and you get faster and the AI get faster, you do notice that the AI do seem to manage to outperform you in every aspect. Which is very frustrating because if you watch the videos that I made, you'll notice that I did come second quite a few times. Because no matter how well I got around the track, is they they just keep up or they catch up, and you could never seem to let them go. They just always seem to be right behind you, like they're shadowing you. I've spun an opponent several times, thinking, oh, well, they'll be quite far behind. A couple of turns later, they've caught you up, and they're right beside you. So it doesn't matter how well you boost, how well you corner, no, shortcuts, even if you take the shortcuts, the AI just seems to catch you up and overtake you. It's like you're stuck together. 
because you can't get rid of them. You can't put out a lead or anything like that. They'll always be right behind you. So the AI and the camera, what I feel, are the two main difficulty issues. The camera you'll get used to as you learn the tracks, but the AI <coughs> excuse me. But the AI, they never change. They will kick your ass sometimes, and you will get pissed off and frustrated, as I was. Sometimes, in the early races anyway, I'd restart to try and converse, but as it progressed, I just couldn't be bothered, so I just stopped with second. It was good enough. But the difficulty, um, it is a fun game, I'll admit. Uh, there is lots to do. And the graphics are nice, the music's nice. There's a fair amount of cars to choose from in each class. No, it's not a fair amount, there's about six or seven cars, I think, in each of the four classes. But they do have multiple skins which you have to unlock. Uh, not in easy ways. Um, you don't win skins by coming first or completing certain races, you have to complete certain conditions during each race, such as. Uh, knock over five barrels or come first while your health is in the red which is, which is very difficult because as your car takes damage you get slower so you'll have to somehow make sure that you can get around the track faster than everyone else in the red without blowing up in a slower car Yeah, but no, the game's fun. A little frustrating, but it is still a fun, fun racing game. Um, personally, I like realistic racing games such as Forza 4 and Gran Turismo 5. But it was still fun to play. It was there's always a certain enjoyment in there when you can get around the track incredibly quickly. You know, you're taking corners and. And blasting around the corner. Obviously, the AI is right behind you because you can't get rid of them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there. This fun game. It is a fun game. Um, I think actually, I think another one of the reasons why I found it a little bit tricky is because I played this on the PlayStation 3, and I'm not used to PlayStation 3 controller yet. Um, most of my gaming, I've been an Xbox 360 user, so using the, the, the PS3 controllers have been a little confusing for me. I've only had it for a couple of months, and I've only done a couple of playthroughs on it, so I'm still learning. Um, so that's that didn't help because I was a I was a PlayStation 3 noob. Yeah, but once I got the hang of it. The game didn't get any easier, but it did get a lot more enjoyable and a lot more fun to play. So, difficult, but can still be enjoyable even if you lose. Uh, just because the game can be fun when it wants to be. The game is of, I can't actually remember, um, at least two modes, main modes which is the career and the championship. Um, I'm, I played through the career, which basically you just play through each of the four classes in turn. And I can't actually remember what the class names are, so I'll see if I can put them down here somewhere. Um, so you go through each of the four classes, starting with the slowest ones, obviously, moving up to the fastest ones. Um, but the first class has a couple of races in it, and at the end, I think it was like a a championship of all the other races. Um, in which case, obviously, you get points for coming first, second, third, etc. And then you move on to the fast deux class, which again has more races in it. And then at the end, you have the championship for all of those races in one, one after the other. And then you have the faster and then the fastest, which again all have more races in them. 
Um, I think the the last one had like eight or ten races. It took for freaking ever to complete. But it's, um, so that's the career. It's basically you just go through each of the four classes bit by bit, trying to come first. Simple. And the championship, which <clears throat> I'm not sure what that's like since I haven't played that. I may do a playthrough of it, but considering how much career annoyed me, I don't know if I want to risk it. But I might give it a go at some point in the for YouTube. But I think with the championship, you can choose the class you want to race. Either that or I unlock the classes as I played through the arcade um, career. And then you pick, <coughs> you pick the class, pick the race. I'm not 100% sure as I haven't even used that mode yet, so I'm, I can't give much information about that yet. Um, but other than that, the career and the championship are the two main modes. I can't remember if there's a time attack, um, because the time attack, you do get some time attack races within the career and the championship. So whether or not you have a time attack mode, uh, I honestly can't remember. Memory. There's not much I can probably say about this game, mainly because I've only played half of what it can offer. But it is frustrating. The AI is a bit cheap sometimes. They seem faster than you in every way. So winning, I guess, is about skill rather than luck. So, but it's a fun game nonetheless. I do recommend it. It's not it's not a horrid game and I wouldn't recommend it, but I do. So if you like racing games, if you're a racing game fan, if you're a top-down racer fan, or if you're a cartoon racing fan, um, or a racing game fan in general, uh, I do recommend this game. So I would say I can't remember the price on Xbox Live or the PlayStation. Um, I think it might be 800 points on the Xbox, but I can't remember how much it was on the PlayStation 3. Under a tenner, I think, like most arcade games would be. But I do recommend the game. Um, it is fun, it is frustrating, but it can be rewarding because of the skill level. So once you complete the game, once you come first, it's like, yay! It has skills! So, yeah. Yeah, I recommend this game. I'd say go and buy it. Go play it. Try not to get as frustrated as I did. Um, and have an enjoyable time playing it. Um, that's all there is to say. Um, I'm Pure Chaos X, and catch me for another episode soon.